yes so we have a trigger here okay so this trigger we don't have these statements earlier so we have a trigger here so that updates the contacts so in the contact also there is a trigger that updates the account description it's continuous uh, going to be executed so if you see here when I'm trying to edit this account save this I'm going to get an error like this because it's continuously updating each other now to stop this I need to write a one class like this public class and some class name and then I need to utilize this uh, one variable whether it is uh, executed or not first time I'm making this as false that means it is not yet executed I'm going to use this class and variable in our uh, in our trigger like you know before updating I'm checking is it executed once false that means it is not yet executed once at all then come inside and execute and update the contact it will update it and it will update the account again while updating you need to see whether it is whether it is true or false if it is false come inside if it is true don't come inside that means it updates the contacts and it will not update the account again so uh, that means it it will it will stop it basically it won't come again and again it only once it will come because of this variable so generally this is a one of the best practice the best practices could be uh, we need to stop the recursion bulkification we need to have a only one trigger for object we need to have a uh, right uh, so we don't need to write we should not write SQL queries and DML statements inside the loop okay yeah so um, this is all about uh, today um, so we may see tomorrow asynchronous apex in the asynchronous apex we'll have um, batch apex schedule apex skewable apex and future methods okay so we will see tomorrow the same uh, example okay but uh, but one more practice we can write here good practices so we are see we are writing some 70 lines of code in the same trigger right so best practices could be another one we can make a utility class instead of writing everything here write a separate class and separate methods uh, write a class something account trigger handler like this so you can write for before one public uh, static white before triggers okay method this is one method okay instead of writing the code everything in the trigger you can make into the separate class utility class handler classes like this and then you can write like this after trigger method but before triggers and after triggers method we can write like this any other name you can write okay I'm just making like this so you can make sure so whatever the before triggers are there you see this is after right I can move this code after trigger code okay uh, I can move this piece of code here after trigger okay so what is what it needs earlier is trigger dot new it was using now there is no trigger dot new in this class this is a class this is not a trigger so trigger dot new will not be available so you need to call this class here dot this method if it is trigger dot if it is insert and is it after then call inside like this so earlier there was some 10 lines of code I moved this code to here right I moved this code to the another separate method which starts here and ends here right and then this piece of was the code was there earlier here so I am going to move this code here into the another separate class but this piece of code earlier using trigger dot new in the trigger context but now this is not a trigger this is a class it won't identify what is trigger dot new so you need to send the data from the trigger 
to this method I can take that new you send okay to this class method so this method can have a parameter the list of records here list of account okay this is a list okay instead of trigger dot new you can utilize now save it so this con list where is this con list one sec con list this one also you can move here con list save it now you see this this data to this method this method is being called from the class and we are sending a data as trigger at new that means a new list of records that are inserting will go to this method in this method we are performing insertion right so based on the list that is I'm getting account list I am going to insert the data so that means I am reduced the piece of code here so like you know for the simplified purpose early 10 like 10 sub 10 lines of piece code piece of code I'm just making into the two lines and then calling the function here so the everything is going to be done here so similarly I can move the piece of code this uh, before insert and update scenario piece of code also to this class before trigger method and then pass a data like this trigger dot ACC list and then here like this and here call the method here so something was there trigger dot world map of id comma account trigger old so i can utilize like this means we are going to send now call this method right we are going to send the data to the class like this class name dot method name and then we need it to send trigger dot new comma trigger dot world so we are this this is basically updating right so this piece of code was earlier using trigger dot world here so i have utilized this uh trigger dot world map basically so i am sending the data that is inserting that is updating to this method this method now performing this logic okay so now you see <coughs> The piece of code is less here so I can move this to to the uh, another method here delete method also I can make another method which says public static wide delete handler something okay delete method handler something I can write like this and then write this code every logic here so all this logic you write inside that class method okay but whenever you write this you may need trigger dot world okay right trigger dot world is something list of accounts only it is a account list only like you know your name can be anything here accounts data you can put account world records you can put okay it can be anything but what are you sending from the uh, like you know main class is is going to be come here means let's say I wanted to call this here earlier I was doing this here this is a class I'm going to call now dot method name so this method is performing the the logic that I have written earlier is this one so it is going to perform the same logic here okay but it requires the data which is uh, earlier we were using trigger dot world here so I can send the trigger dot world okay so at the before deletion delete scenario it will come here is it a before delete yes then I'm going to send a data to this class that method name this method is going to execute line by line and then performs uh, errors if there is an opportunities associated like this you can see I can I can update this I can this one also uh, update scenario right I can call one more method our same method I can use public static wide 
update handler okay or i can move this logic to here also okay i'm just making a separate method okay this piece of code i can write everything here okay what it requires it requires trigger dot new yeah i think just trigger dot new it requires that means this is a method that requires a list of accounts new records okay save this public static so here i can call like this account dot class name dot method name and then send a trigger dot new right save this now you see this is a, a debug statement that i'm having and then what i can do i can like this see uh, this is for insert after insert this is for before insert and update this is for before delete this is for after update and each and every place I'm just calling a different methods okay and then logic is performing in this class okay this is having some 66 lines okay it is going to perform the logic here right so i'm redirecting the things to the another class that is something called we can say handler classes or utility classes so instead of writing the everything code in the one trigger you can utilize the uh, you know uh, utility classes or we can say handler classes so this is a class only handler class means it's not a different it's just a class but methods so we are just making our code into the method and then calling this method from that from this trigger that's it okay yeah so these are the best practices that we can follow while writing a trigger okay yeah that's all for today any questions